Hello and welcome to the mission segment on News 360. And let's begin this way. Now, they grow food in large quantities and yet they lose all their investments. For residents of Ajan Moni in the upper Mayakrobo district, post harvest losses is a huge challenge. Brighton now for reports tons of food goes waste every year due to inadequate warehousing, while a government project is yet to be completed. A poor community made up of peasant farmers. They were settled here following the construction of the Akosombo Dam. Their destiny lies in farming, and they are not lazy. They grow crops in large quantities. We grow uh, maize, we grow pepper, we grow tomatoes, we grow oko. The vegetation like this, but anything. We grow palm over here. For years, they have struggled to store what they grow. After battling poor roads, inadequate social amenities, and other challenges with farming, what they grow goes waste. Storage is inadequate. They can dry vegetables on these through the sun's heat. But storing cereals has been a headache for years. Because the farmers here, I may say they are not lazy, especially in base. One person can, I mean, cultivate about 15 acres of maize, 10 acres of maize. Some people will, I mean, cultivate about 10 acres of beans, 8 acres, and all sorts of things. But where to store it is creating a problem. Their bedrooms have become places for storing produce. These are gallant farmers in this community. They work hard day and night to produce, to feed the rest of the country. Tons and tons of maize are produced every year, but storing them remains a huge challenge. For the people of this community, what they do is store the maize in their rooms, as you can see here. This is the only room left, but they have no option than to keep them here. For these people, any political party that comes to campaign ahead of 2020 must speak to them about agriculture and how to stop post-harvest losses. The government storage project under the One District One Warehouse project has just taken off and assurances are that it should be completed soon. Mama Sena told me in the Kubo language that she has to use the room for her family to store her maize. And so, for her, political parties must spend energies on modernizing agriculture, particularly improving storage facilities. A new money settlement has other satellite villages, and so one can count over 2,000 people living around. Unemployment remains a challenge for years. Reducing post harvest losses will ensure more young men and women stay in farming. Chief of Anyamoni told me in the Krobo language that completion of the warehousing facility will see improved lives. He said political parties must center their energies on helping farmers reducing post-harvest losses. He mentioned warehousing as one key area to reduce post-harvest losses. I have been visiting this place in the time, in the day. Because of the project, I was very interested in the project. Products has been destroyed. And uh, if uh, the government introduced this project for warehouse, I think uh, it will help somebody who has done a miss, he can, he can come to this place and then store it so that it will not spoil. So, the upper Manya district is not relenting on efforts at resolving challenges with farming. In fact, the district pays key attention to farming. 
The coming of the warehouse is a big relief for us. We had to situate it here because a lot of people grow maize around the Anyaboni area. It is closer to the lake. And so people who are engaged in uh, small-scale irrigation, people who need large tracts of land to farm, get it around this place. What we intend to do is to encourage farmers all over the district so that it is not only the people of uh, Anyaboni who will use it. Because it's a very huge facility and the people of Anyaboni alone cannot fill it uh, with their maize. As political parties get ready to mount platforms to campaign, residents of Anyaboni and surrounding communities are all ears. What they want to hear are strategies to reduce post-harvest losses so they can recoup their investments in farming and also encourage the youth to stay in farming. Bright Nananfo, TV3, Anyamoni, Apamanya District.